Good morning, welcome to a new weekly vlog. It's Monday the 27th. Oh, I always do this, I get stuff caught in my sleeve. Um, of January and I am off to the airport. Uh, I've been up an hour or so, I was very confused. I was like, why is my alarm going off at like 6.30? But I'm all packed, all ready, and here's the lift and we're off. Singapore, here we come. I'm here, I've checked in, I've dropped off my bag, everything. I'm through security. I'm gonna grab something to eat because I'm gonna be flying over lunch. So I'll take something on the plane with me. And then I'm pretty much heading straight to the gate because I think my check-in is in about 35 minutes, like boarding is in 35 minutes. So I'm gonna see what my options are and just get something like a sandwich. I just want a sandwich on the flight. Success, got a Gordon Ramsay sandwich and a packet of crisps. I hardly ever have crisps in Hong Kong, but I got salt and vinegar, which is my favourite. So I'm now going to head to the gate. Um, can't breathe properly. Haven't been able to breathe properly for the last few hours. <laughs> you know, breathing's not essential, right? <laughs> At least I'm safe. Everyone's wearing a mask. So that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Changed mask. I'm ready for my flight. Um, I'm now just sat board, ready to board. Um, I think the boarding starting, but they're... Oh, it keeps going up to my eyes. That's what I find really annoying. Uh, um, my turned up nose means like the nose bit is like higher up than it needs to be technically because my nose sticks out here, but not here. I don't know. It's a, it's a challenge wearing this, but I thought my face wouldn't be as hot. I'm a little bit scared of eating and drinking on the flight. So I obviously need to remove this for that and I feel vulnerable. But we can do this, let's do this. I'm excited. And um, so Sylvia's flying a different flight and I'm meeting her there. So then the true, oh my goodness, it just keeps moving up. The true adventure then begins. Right, see you later.
So I've just landed from a lovely five days in Singapore. Um, I'm not really sure I've come back to in Hong Kong. Uh, <laughs> I find it really hard to breathe and talk in this mask. But anyway, um, since I left, let me get past all these people. Since I left, right, the Wuhan virus has gone insane basically. Masks are sold out everywhere, so being, they're really hard to find. Um, luckily I've got a few people looking out for me in England, hoping to get some sent over. Um, schools, I've just landed to the news, the schools have actually now been closed till March. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and the thing is, if anyone knows me, I'm a real planner. Like, I like knowing what I'm doing, and I find this very, very unsettling, but it's no one's fault, and there's nothing I can do. Oh my goodness, I find it so hard to breathe in this mask. It was okay when I wasn't talking, it's when I breathe in in between words, and it goes up against my mouth, and I'm a little bit like that. But yes, so we're back. It's been a really good uh, five days away, and um, we were very sensible while we were away, like, wore masks when it was, like, really crowded. And actually the price of a grab, which is like an Uber, was the same as the train. So we avoided the train. I didn't want to be surrounded by people. So yes, um, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Right, I need to go through immigration. And I'm sure there'll be someone here taking our temperature as we walk through one of those temperature guns. They're pretty cool. Right, let's do this. Hi Hong Kong, I'm home got my bag and I'm re reunited with Sylvia. Oh, and there's Wesley! Hi Wesley! <laughs> Look, here he comes! The saviour himself, Wesley! I'm smiling underneath. <laughs> I'm home and I've been home a few hours, managed to FaceTime Maria, which was good because I've not managed to speak to her obviously being away. I'm tired. But I forgot I did a big clean on Sunday, so my ha my apartment's like all nice. Mm, makes me happy. So I'm gonna go to bed now, and yeah, I'm going out tomorrow. I don't know what it's gonna be like, because obviously I got back and I got a taxi home. Oh my goodness, the taxi ride was insane. He was driving so fast and like zigzagging between cars and then there were moments where I was kind of watching him I couldn't look at my phone because basically I was like if I read anything I'm going to like be sick <laughs> and then I was looking at him in the little the wind wait is it the windscreen mirror the one in the middle I drive I don't know why I don't know what it's called the to the mirror in the middle I was looking at him he was falling asleep he was literally like going go oh. and I was like going oh my goodness like I literally don't know what to do but I got home <laughs> there were moments where I was like I don't know if I'm gonna make it <laughs> oh it's a different experience but yes um I'm out and about tomorrow just for lunch and if you rem if you watch my vlog when was it like beginning of January me and RJ went to a lamp making class and we get to pick up our lamps tomorrow so that'll be really exciting i'll link that vlog below so you can see it but um i'm really excited to see it and hopefully it looks nice i don't know it could be it should be nice as long as all the bits didn't fall off it we'll see but yes see you in the morning good night good morning it's saturday the first of february um <laughs> This is gonna be like a typical thing you now see of me, living the masked life. I'm on my way to Quintong to meet RJ. We're gonna have lunch in this cool place. See if it goes ahead before I describe it to you. And then we're picking up our lamps, so that's great. But um, yeah, masked life, hey? It's just so hot. Having your own breath on your face constantly is just not a pleasant experience. Oh yay, the MTR's just here. This is delightful. Do I just go in? It's a yellow store. Oh wow. This is so cool. 
So we've come to this place called School and it's spelled S-C-O-O-O-L. It's in Quintong and it's basically based on a school. So they've got actual proper school desks and you have to go up like it's a canteen and get your food and there's all these stuff. And I've just picked up my food and it is amazing. So my tea is in a, oh my goodness, what's it called? I don't, what are these called? A beaker? No. Conical flask. Oh, I didn't know that word anyway, so I don't know why I was trying. And then, look at the chopsticks. They're like pencils. This is so... Oh, I wasn't even showing you them. They're like pencils. It is so cool. I like it. It's very good theming. Definitely worth visiting. Very, very, very cool. Too cool for school. Cake time! So many, many, many hours later, <laughs> I'm at home, obviously. It's like 11 something. Oh, my face is really pink. I had a face mask on. I wonder if I left it on too long. Probably something I would do. So I had a really, really nice time with RJ. I really liked the place we went for lunch. I mean, I have to say the decor was really cool. My passion fruit green tea was amazing wasn't too bothered about my noodles but it was still good and then we went somewhere for cake and then <laughs> need to show you picked up my lamp <laughs> i'm really really pleased okay so hopefully this will capture it so i put it on my bedside table so it doesn't look nearly as bright because i have to put this kind of polish thing on it um when to like make it set but that's what it looks like with it the light off and Watch out, flashing light. Oh, adjust, adjust, adjust. Look at it, it's so bright. I'm really happy with that. I just am very, very pleased with how it's come out. It'll be a test tonight, to see if I can actually read by that lamp alone, but I'm very, very pleased. Also, just while we're in here, and I was unpacking earlier, this is the only thing I bought, oh no, no, I did buy something else actually, that's a lie. So I bought this Groot, um, it's meant to be a plant holder in Singapore. So I got him out, it's so cute, love him. So I've got like that Groot there, this Groot here. So slowly but surely, he's taking over my apartment. And I got myself a magnet, because I do like magnets, and I'm trying to build up my fridge of magnets. Um, I just got this like, little Singapore like colourful house one because I kept I really like colourful things and I was always impressed when I turned a corner and found something like painted unusually and all that stuff the other weird thing <laughs> that I bought in Singapore <laughs> a watermelon um yeah you're probably like what Basically, everyone's panicked in Hong Kong. I think social media has made this um, go totally crazy. So basically, all the food shops are empty. And I knew that. I'd seen pictures when I was in Singapore. And I was like, right, I need to get some food before we leave. So I did. A, I thought, I'll just get some apples, get some bananas. Bananas were stupid. They were all very squished by the time I got them out of the suitcase. Edible, but squished. Um, got some yogurt. Got some Philadelphia. And then I saw these watermelons that were really cheap. So, <laughs> so I bought one. Um, I was very, very lucky because it actually made my suitcase over the weight limit. <laughs> but, my, but my flight was underbooked, so they didn't seem to care. So I was very pleased. But yeah, so I've got some fruit. And today when I was with RJ, we went and grabbed a few bits and bobs from the supermarkets but honestly there's hardly any food like I wanted to just get some like tins to have in the cupboard and I managed to get like a sweet corn tin and then like some like kidney beans and chickpeas and stuff but there were no like no like Heinz beans or um tuna or anything so I'm gonna have a look again tomorrow in my local and see what they've got there just to stock up anyway so yeah but then I've been catching up with Love Island, um, FaceTime Mouf and Farge, which was really nice, and just kind of chilling, which I, I kind of needed. Um, I'm home tomorrow. Now, I went down to check because I really wanted to go to the gym. It's all closed. It's a very, we're living in a weird time right now. Um, gym, swimming pool, everything is closed. So I'm actually... Oh, I'm gonna try running outside tomorrow. 
I'm gonna try it. I'm not anticipating success. The whole thing is I'm successful on the treadmill because it, like literally I can't stop because it's moving. But we'll give it a go. See what we can do. And then, yeah, just a chill day, getting on top of things and relaxing at home before we find out the future on Monday. Um, I'm in work for the morning and I have no idea what that means at this point. So we'll find out, it'll be fine. Don't know, prepared for anything. So I am gonna go to bed. I'm gonna try and read by my new lamp. I'm really pleased with it. I love the colors. It came, come out, <laughs> it's come out exactly as I hoped. So yeah, I'm pleased. And just so you know, from so far, obviously there's been like snippets of Singapore, but there will be a completely separate Singapore vlog series coming. So keep an eye out. Good night. I shall see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Sunday the 2nd of February. I'm up and dressed and I'm about to go outside running. I really don't want to do it outside. I really don't want to do this. But with the gym clothes, I'm like, how am I meant to do any exercise? Like swimming pools clothes. So I'm going to have to try it. Last time I did this, I'll link the video below, but it was hilarious. Like, I just can't do it. Treadmill's different. I don't know. I'm going to give it a go. But anyway, while I'm stood here, Leslie asked me to show my view in the daytime without fog. And that's what we've got today. So, I mean, it's a bit grey outside. But this is my view. There is a little waterfall there, but it doesn't seem to be flowing much. Normally it's got more water than that, but it's been a bit dry. Um, and those are filming studios right near where I live. And this is a mountain. So all is good, all is good. Right, let's go get this done. I did it, I went for a run, it was horrible. <laughs> Oh, I just couldn't do it for as long as I can on the treadmill. So I'm going to have to like build up again. Because on the treadmill I did the whole like couch to 5k program. So I built it up event like gradually. Whereas this I was just like, I think it's because like it was windy. So like that makes it harder to run. And then like, I had to cross roads and like just wasn't as smooth. And I guess some slightly uphill. So it was hard, but then I do feel kind of motivated to see if I can maybe not, I was gonna do like a whole 30 minute run, but that was like over ambitious. So I kind of did like segments. So I ran for about 10 minutes and then was like, I am dying. Also, how do you take water out when you go running outside? Cause I was also really, really thirsty. I don't know, man, I'll try it again. I'll see if I can improve. But I was out for like 40 minutes, so that's not bad. So since then, school have emailed to say we're not expected in tomorrow. So I don't know what's going on with life. I don't know how long I'll be off for. I really don't know. Hard to predict, really. I was going to go over to Welcome today and try and pick up some more food. But now I feel a bit like, you know what, if I'm here tomorrow, I could go tomorrow um, and get stuff. I just, I don't like that. I don't really know if it's how long it's for. Because I feel like I can't plan anything in my head. But you know, we'll deal with it. Go with the flow. Um, yeah, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did some exercise. Otherwise I would go a little bit mad and I'm going to have to see people. Because otherwise, again, I'll go mad on my own. All on my own. Right. Am I hungry? Maybe. I might eat some pineapple. Apple. I'm going to eat an apple. Save the pineapple for tonight. Gosh, I'm wild, aren't I? Mm. Well, this seems to be a kind of regular position I find myself in. <laughs> it's like half eight. I'm kind of just ready to relax. I'm trying to catch, like finish season three of Sabrina. I've got two and a half episodes to go. I'll finish it by tomorrow, surely. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do this. 
uh, FaceTime Jess, which is really, really good. Nice catching up with her. We're all feeling a little bit unsettled over here because no one knows really what is going to happen. Um, I've been trying to look at like lesson resources and everything. So I'm going to do a bit of work and post things online because that's kind of what we're having to do. So all the kids at school over here are getting their work set online at the moment. Guess it's better than nothing. So yeah, but other than that, I am just going to chill. So I thought I'd end this here, can get it edited and ready. And thanks for watching as always. I will be posting Singapore vlogs soon. I need to finish the Tokyo ones first, then Singapore will start like straight away after that. So look out for those and I shall see you next week. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Oh, I've got a headache. That was too much energy there. <laughs> I shall see you next week.